Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about how board game can change your life just like how it changed mine. Here's three lessons that I learned from board game. Lesson number one, you'll be comfortable failing constantly. In games, when you roll the dice, sometimes you're so lucky that you get all the kinds of resources that you get in Katarn and you are always constantly getting the things that everyone wants and everyone wants to be your friend everyone wants to be your alliance and everyone wants the things that you always have but sometimes when you roll the dice it is not the things that you want nor do, we, do you even have any resources and you're just not so lucky anymore and you're not going to win the game at all but if you think about it losing is actually really good because it challenges you to think about the strategies you have been using and you think that your strategy is bulletproof but have you ever thought that your strategy can actually has like has holes there and you realize that you can improve on your strategies because you lose in the previous game you have to really think about what strategies you're going to use the next time you're going to reconfigure yourself you're going to try again and you're going to see whether it works and similarly, in reality, you realize that the very first time you do things, you're definitely going to fail. And I think playing board games just bring a lot of different parallels from reality to board games. And since you are okay failing and being comfortable failing and being challenged with the strategies that you have been doing in board games, you realize that sooner or later you'll be comfortable failing in real life as well. And failing is not bad at all in real life. Failing is actually a good thing because you know how to tackle new strategies or you can you actually find new strategies so that you can even optimize what you have been always been doing. And that ties very nicely to the second point that I'm gonna tell you about, which is lesson number two. There's actually a lot more parallels and you'll be a lot more aware on parallels once you play board games. There are games like Monopoly that talks about the housing market in the 1900s. And this game itself, initially, I think it was to ridicule the housing prices in New York. And I think it's just bringing awareness on the rising housing prices to the players themselves. There are also other games like Bonanza that talks about demand and supply of beans in, in, in the market itself. Because there's just so many parallels between like Bonanza and the actual stock itself that it is actually a very good practice to play the game and to learn the, the skills that is associated with the game. Just imagine like you make mistakes in the game of Bonanza when you are holding up too much resources that everyone is wanting to have. However, when you actually diversify what you have in the plot of farms that you are currently holding, you, s you can actually win everyone else because you predict what everyone wants and you do something that other people don't want and you take on and you earn profit out of that. And just like that in stocks as well, when there are like the next few popular stocks that everyone's rushing to buy, maybe you can reevaluate and buy something that it's on a dip and perhaps look for opportunities so that your money can grow. And just like that, you practice the skills that you learn in board games and apply them in your daily lives. Lesson number three, you can actually make a lot more friends. I think board games is a very easy way to Make new friends. I think board games are just a great connector between two strangers. As an introvert myself, I find it really hard to connect with people because I don't really like small talks and I don't want to talk about anything under the weather or how bad the traffic was at Highway 80 or something like that. But I think what's more important is that I can connect with that with that person without having to talk about all these kind of things and board games just bring you to what's in front of you what's on the table and you try to play 
in a more competitive and also somewhat vulnerable state because you're trying to win either together or against the person you become very competitive and being very vulnerable and trying to edge out against what the player has or even like trying to you know try your best to game the system and because of that it's a very intimate session with that person you try to understand what the person is trying to do and I think because of the game right in front of you and perhaps the conversation that you have during the game itself you sort of breach this um, this game itself to what happens in reality. Maybe when you play Catan, you talk about resources and you talk about mountains, you will naturally go into the conversation of have you been to any adventures or all these kind of very good questions that bridge your friendship. And because of that, you can talk naturally and you just realize that you know, you don't really have to do small talks and you can connect with that person much easier now since there is a board game right in front of you. And this process is so natural that I find it easier to meet new people and I've met so many new people just because of board games like Catan or even like Monopoly or other board games like Terraforming Mars that I think it just makes sense to play board games and to know and to learn about a new person. So these are the three lessons that you can learn from board game itself. Number one, you'll be comfortable failing constantly. Number two, you'll be aware of the parallels between board games and the real world. And number three, you can meet new people. So for any of the board games that I talked about in a video, I'll be putting them down in the description below. And if you have any game that changed your life, please comment below and let me know what kind of board games that impact you and change who you are, change to the person to who you are right now. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you'd like to check out my other videos, you can click over here. But if not, I'll see you again soon.